morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the last of the, this committee's formal hearings in this council. Uh, first item on the agenda to receive the minutes of the meeting held on the 29th of January. Uh, laid on the table for half an hour. I see them there. Is that agreed? Apologies for absence. None received, Chairman. Right. Declarations of interest. None received. Questions? There are no questions, Chairman. Any actions authorised? None, Chairman. No. Right, we now come to the designated streets review, which we have seen before, and it is you know, now back with us somewhat, uh, not amended, but clarified. So, uh, Mr Giddings, would you like to take us by the hand and lead us through the streets of Godalming? <laughs> As long as you don't want me to sing as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Uh, yes, as you say, uh, this has been considered by you before, and, and the main concern was about the street closure that we anticipated for Bridge Street leading to traffic chaos. Um, and as a result of, of that, further clarification, uh, as you say, came from the Town Council, who were a asking for this change to the consent designation uh, and they're clear that they wouldn't require any street closures uh, to operate a small farmers market of up to 13 stalls. Um, the legislation does require us as part of the process should the consent um, be, uh, street be in place to consult the police, the highways authority, fire service and so on and if they had any concerns over safety issues, traffic issues, then they would be brought to light. And if those concerns weren't resolved, then it would come before the committee for a decision on whether to give the farmer's market a consent anyway. So I think, should the committee be minded to recommend um, consent street be uh, followed through, that there would be enough checks and balances in place later in the process. Uh, any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you. No questions? Well, it seems to me that um, the Town Council uh, should know what they're doing in, on their own patch. And I think it's a pity that they didn't actually supply this... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That they didn't provide this plan with the original uh, application, but uh, and as Mr. Giddings has just said, there are numerous checks in place so that if things don't work properly, and I certainly wouldn't want to try and set myself up as more of an expert on the subject than the police, the fire service, and the highways authority. So, uh, has anybody else got any comment to make on it? Yes, Tony. I will make a comment that, in fact, as you see from the map the street is not going to be closed and the um, idea is to put the stalls just along the Waitrose wall there and that means that uh, that area will remain open so that uh, traffic can come down uh, that bit and uh, that's what we weren't too sure about before but they had thought it through. <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else? So, um, the recommendation is either that the designation remains unaltered or the publication of a notice of intention to pass a resolution to designate Bridge Street Godalming as a consent street. These are the alternative recommendations that we can make to Council. Uh, I would suggest from what we've heard that um, we vote on whether to agree uh, recommendation two. Is that agreed? agreed. Excellent. Right, we now move on to taxi fees. Now, we went through all these at a previous meeting. Um, no representations have been received on the, during the consultation period. So um, we will pass them through. Oh, thank you, Mr. Giddings. <laughs> um, we will pass it up to... Hmm? Yes. 
Sorry, Paul, Mr Hughes has disappeared. He was going to just update you briefly. Oh. We, uh, we haven't received any representations. We have received one comment from a driver, and I think Paul was just going to, to read that. But he was encouraged to raise it at the taxi liaison meeting, but we've had no further. Um, it was not a representation as such. It was just a comment. Um, but if Paul could just read that out to you. Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, one of the drivers wrote in say, I feel that the council are only thinking of themselves in that they seem to feel justified to raise prices at inflated rates and seem to think it's okay to never raise taxi fares at the same rate of inflation for us to come to cope with inflation. And a uh, driver responded to that to say, dear, whatever his name was, how do you propose to progress your, with your suggestion to propose the new charges as time is running out? Do you intend to be at the meeting this coming Monday, which is the liaison meeting for the trade to voice its opinions? There was nothing raised at the um, liaison meeting about it, and we've not heard any further comment. Mr. Vawley. Thank you. Um, that's an interesting point about raising fares with the rate of inflation. So. Perhaps have we ever considered that if, as we enter into a period of deflation, that perhaps we, they could put their fares down? Now, we, we could agree to, to reduce their, their fees with the rate of inflation or deflation, then they'll, they, they would agree to decrease their fares if that is indeed a, a valid point. But we are actually, I don't know if there is a mechanism to, to decrease their fares. I don't think it would be very popular, but um, it is deflation that we're in now, not inflation. I'm sure that he, the licence trade would greet that suggestion with considerable enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, but it is, a, it is a valid point, isn't it? Um, our, our fee structure is based absolutely on, our expense, on what it costs us, isn't it, Mr Hughes? Yes, it is. It, it can be justified. Well, as there's been no... Uh, a, substantive objection to it the deadline and the fees will come into effect on the 1st of april 2015 so there's no need for us to vote or anything no right so there's no need to exclude the press and public i'm on item eight love to have some legal advice if, there's, if we need any <laughs> no. right um i'm aware that this is the last time that this can this committee will meet formally before uh the election and the next licensing committee will be, have a somewhat different composition. Uh, but I'd just like to take this opportunity of thanking you all for your hard work and support during the year. And it's been a real pleasure working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. End of meeting, I think.